Libra, welcome to my channel, I'm The Soul Teacher. I'm here today to do a brand new reading with you. Um, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this yet. I will have to <laughs> figure it out before I start posting these videos. So this is, this is a general reading um, and it goes according to the zodiac signs. So every zodiac sign has got a different layout and it's got different questions that I ask with each card. It's a very fun reading, it's also very to the point. So, um, but also please understand, there's lots of you watching these readings. So when you, when you look at, when you watch this reading, please take whatever information comes through and put it in your, into your situation. Um, apply this information and these cards and the, this reading, apply it to your situation, to your energy, to your life right now. Um, also, please, I'd really appreciate it if you can comment down below and tell me, did you enjoy this reading? Did you like it? Did you find it helpful? Would you like me to do more of these on a more regular basis? Would you not like me to do these readings anymore? I'm here to serve you. Um, I really want you to enjoy these readings and I really want to help you in your life. So in saying that, Libra, let's see what the cards have to say to you. First question, um, or first card, is the card that describes you the best currently. Second one, what is lacking balance in your life right now? The third one is also what is lacking balance in your life right now. And if you go further into the, um, the layout, you'll see that um, the next one, number four, is um, how you balance these two out in your life so this is quite an interesting scenario it's not one thing and one thing this is something that i feel is connected that you need to balance out and this is the solution how you can start doing that five is how you can begin to be more vulnerable with others and six is how you can set healthy boundaries with others and i know libra you struggle with setting boundaries because you always just want to be the person that helps everybody out and you never take anything for yourself, which in fact puts your life in an imbalance, which is something that really can annoy you and really hamper you in your life, hinder you, hold you back. So let's see your current energy at the moment, the star. So this can be two things. Um, this is a card of healing. This is also um, the wish card in the tarot. And I feel that the second one applies to you in this reading. I feel that you're starting to create wishes for yourself. Libra um, never really want to take anything for themselves. Like I said, they struggle with boundaries. They really always just want to make everybody around them happy. And I think this is slowly changing. And I'm really happy about that. Because if you are in a space where you do things for you and you are happy, just think how much more you can give to other people. But if you keep on giving of yourself, there's nothing left of you. So what you are, whatever you are giving to someone else, because you're not gonna stop giving. So what you're giving is nothing at the end of the day. And I think you're starting to make wishes for yourself. And I'm really, really, really happy to see that. Okay, so now what's lacking the balance in your life? Six of Cups, okay. This is a nostalgic card. This can be soulmate energy. This can be someone from your past. This can be um, happy childhood memories. So it, it can relate to your inner child that might be out of balance. It can relate to a relationship that you have or had in the past with a soulmate. It can also relate to something um, like a soulmate that wants to come back into your life, but you're not you're not allowing it. You're not you're not opening the door to that. Let's see what's the next situation. Yeah, it's okay. There it is. Ace of Cups. Wow. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Libra, this is this is a soulmate that wants to enter your life, or um, maybe someone from your past that wants to rekindle a relationship, or maybe an existing relationship that your partner just really wants to re-energize and um, this this situation in your life is out of balance so you need to bring that back into balance and this is how page of pentacles open the door to the new open the door to do things differently open the door to 
receive that message of your significant other or a, a, a past soulmate or whatever, answer that, that phone call. Um, read the message and reply to it. Feel it in your heart. Open the door again because this is something that can be really, really great. Your life is out of balance because of this. Open the door to new things. That's how you're going to bring it back into balance. It's so easy. Simply answer the phone when the call comes through. That's, that's all I'm seeing in my mind is just answer the phone. Don't stare at the phone and just hope it'll go away. Answer the call, Libra. Wow. That is very, very strong. How you can be more vulnerable with others. And I'm not even looking at that card yet. But what I feel immediately with this question is you need to be more vulnerable with your soulmate or soulmate to be or partner or whatever this is all about in your life. Um, take it as it resonates. So how can you be more vulnerable? Exactly. Now, High Priestess, connect with your higher self your divine connection connect with your soul because the moment you're connected with your soul your heart opens automatically it's like you you can't help it even you you can try but the moment you connect to your higher self your heart will open automatically which will make you more vulnerable to the people around you and that that libra everybody has always been in this programmed state of vulnerability is a weakness it isn't vulnerability is strength that's where your strength lies last one is how you can set healthy boundaries with others nine of swords this chick is really tired of all of this crap <laughs> so what i feel for this with this is you're just simply tired of giving 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 and not getting anything in return you are tired and this, you need to get to this point, Libra, where you say enough is now enough. It's, it's enough now. When you're, also, when you're in tune with your higher self, you will automatically know when you, when you can do something for someone else or when you can't. Because when you're in tune with your higher self, you will feel that balance automatically. So you will feel, yes, I can do this. If I do this, I'm still in balance. But or no if i do this my balance is going to be out the window and that's not what you want you want everything to be in balance in your life that's what a libra is all about is the balancing act so libra i really hope you found this helpful and enjoyable and i will be seeing you very soon again love and light to you